So why do women need cervical smears? Women need a cervical smear because this is a very simple way of preventing a very serious condition uh, called cervical cancer. Uh, and thousands of women have benefited from the cervical screening program in the UK. So what happens if a woman was to have an abnormal smear? Okay. Most women tend to have a normal smear. I must stress that because that's important. A very, very small group of women will receive a letter which will say that there are some unusual cells, abnormal cells. In that situation, you may be referred either for a repeat smear or to a specialist to have what is called a colposcopy, which allows the neck of the womb to be examined in some detail. So what um, are the risk factors for developing an abnormal smear? There are several risk factors that are, are mentioned, but one of the most important ones uh, in my opinion, is smoking because women actually can make a difference to themselves because smoking does increase the chances of the cells dividing quicker and becoming more unusual and more abnormal. Um, can the causes of abnormal smears be treated easily? Yes, they can be treated very easily and that's why it's another reason why it's quite important for a woman to have smears regularly. Uh, all we need to do is take away these abnormal cells usually on an outpatient basis, and it's something that your doctor would be able to talk to you about in, in more detail if you have any more concerns. It's, it's well known that the causes of abnormal smears are due to a wart. I understand there's a vaccine which is now available. Can yes. you tell us something about that? Yes. Most women who are sexually active will be exposed to the wart virus during their lifetime. Most women will get rid of it within a year or year and a half. Um, but in some women, as I mentioned, women who, who uh, have risk factors, the cells sometimes can um, hang on to the cells in the neck of the womb and can change them. Now, we have a rollout program for the uh, wart virus vaccine, which your doctor will be able to explain to you more in detail. But in a sense, it involves women who have not yet started being sexually active, and that's why young girls um, around the age of 12 are often recommended to have the vaccine. But these um, this information is changing all the time, so I would recommend that um, you know, the woman talks to her, her doctor to get further information.